Extended pricing is an additional module in Dynamics GP that allows you to set up date sensitive pricing for a customer or groups of customers. I want to show you an example of how this is used in GP and also kind of give you a, an idea of how it's set up in GP. So let's take a look at it. This is kind of a flowchart of how the system is set up. The basis for the pricing is at the price sheet level. A price sheet can include items and also price groups. Price groups are just collections of items that have the same price. I can include price sheets into price books and then assign those to customers or groups of customers. I found that extended pricing is more of a customer oriented pricing scheme as opposed to the standard GP which is more item oriented. Let's take a look at the specifics. The basis for the pricing is the price sheet. Let's take a look at the price sheet. What you'll want to do is set up a base price sheet that includes all of your items and includes specific pricing for that. Here's my base price sheet it includes many of my items and I'm going to take a look at this first item here, hit the expansion arrow and look at the pricing for that. You can see that this is a list price here of $60. I've got all my items priced in a similar fashion. So what I've done then is I've taken this price sheet and I put it into a price book, a default price book which includes the price sheet. Let's take a look at that. Here you can see the base price sheet in the price book. Now what I've done is I've used this base price book as a default. It's kind of a safety net for all the pricing in my organization, in my system. So if a particular customer or group of customers does not have special pricing, they will default to the base book. And that's the way that you're going to want to set up your system so that no matter what customer is in there, they're always assigned to some type of pricing. Let's take a look at the customer pricing maintenance screen. What this allows me to do is set up specific pricing for a particular customer. Let's look at Adam Park here and you can see I've assigned him a price book. You'll notice that I can only assign one price book per customer. But also for this customer I've added two additional price sheets which represents additional promotional pricing for this particular customer. Let's take a look at the spring promo here. What I've done here is I've taken some items, groups of items, we can drill down on that and see that I've assigned to that group of items a 90% discount for a period of time stretching from March 1st to the end of May. This really is the strength of extended pricing to have that price sensitive pricing for a particular customer or group of customers. Now the other pricing I've set up, the other promotional is a free item. Let's take a look at that. What I've done is for this particular item here, I've said if a customer orders between 1 and 5, they'll have no free items. If they order between 6 and 10, they'll have one free item. So you can see how that's set up in the quantity brackets here. If I highlight this one here, I can go to the quantity free expansion arrow and see that if a client orders between 6 and 10, they'll get one free item and the item will be the same item. I can also set up the free item to be a completely different item if I wish. Let's take a look at this pricing in action. If I go to sales transaction entry, I'm going to enter an invoice for Adam Park. And we'll see how this works. So I'm going to enter this accessory item here. This one was the one that had a special pricing. It was a 90% price on that. So as I scroll through there, as I tab through there, you'll see it'll bring up this window here, a promotional alert. I have the ability to accept that promotion or reject it. You can see the details here. I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to add a second item, which will be the free item. A certain quantity is purchased. That's this item here. And I'm going to purchase a quantity of seven. That'll bring up this promotional alert here that says I get an additional item if I want to, I'm going to accept that pricing. And you can see that it adds an additional line in the invoice. Let's take a look at individual lines again. If I select this first line and go to the unit pricing here, it shows me how that price was calculated. It shows the promotion here. I can select the second item, go to unit pricing. It shows me the promotion there as well. The extended pricing module in GP allows you to add additional pricing. You've just seen an example of that. And what I like about it is that it's more customer oriented. So if you've got a lot of different pricing schemes amongst your customer base, this is a good module to allow you to easily manage those prices.